Hey, check that out, my man. Hey, hey, man, check that out, man. Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School. I was doing a walking video here on Ari Burasa Este. And yeah, here's this old Fargo or Dodge that I saw in on Industrial Boulevard a couple of years ago, and here it is. But what's weird about this truck is that the fenders were changed out from something else. They look like Ford fenders. These were added on the headlights and as well as that bumper. That's that actually that bumper really looks like shit. That actually looks like a bumper that it came off a Chevy or a GMC, like a C series from the 80s. Still neat though. Oh now there's a guy yelling at me. I'm gonna get in trouble now, so. That's alright, I'll get tell him what I'm doing. Wow, that is cool, man. I'm gonna stop recording. So I'm chatting with the owner here, and uh, uh, he's, he's telling me about this truck. He bought it off an old man. Obviously, the old man started restoring it, but he, he must have ran out of money, or he died, or something. And uh, it's, it's actually, yeah, it's, he says it runs and drives, and it's the original six-cylinder. Well, original, I don't know if it's the original, but if it's a straight six-cylinder, or six-cylinder, it's links, the same motor, you know. And uh, but I'm still mystified about these fenders. It's a cool truck, man. I, uh, I hope for you that, uh, yeah, it looks, it doesn't look bad at all. You know, I hope that it can be one day on the road, but uh, again, it's going to take a lot of patience, you know. It's because, like he mentioned, he doesn't have papers for it, and it's, that's, that's a typical deal, you know, when you don't have the, the papers for something like that. Uh, I had a friend one time, he wanted to buy a Corvair, and there was no papers for it. He's like, oh, he's like, I feel like trying and all. I said, eh, you know. But, you know, maybe the guy here, he got, it for a, he got it for a song. He got it for a great deal. So why not? What the hell? I told him, I was like, look, you know, if you don't need the money and you've got the space for it, look, it's his, it's his truck. So what the hell? You know, I mean, uh, there's no there's there's no rush. And uh, just hopefully he'll find what he's looking for. And, uh, and I've just noticed something else that's bizarre about that truck is the hood. Oh, yeah, the hood. It looks like it was fabricated or something anyway for one thing the whoever restored this truck had some good hands the only thing i told him i didn't like is that bumper that's from a chevy or gmc which is a no-no but it really it's because it looks more like shit but i said i understand it has to be conform it has to be safe but uh yeah there you go man you know another one uh, it's great to see something something that you never really see that that's old on the street i mean if we're in california you would see stuff like that look it's all today it's all these cheap trucks he knows and even this is cheap